so our 12 o'clock showed up. Let's see if my initial assessment was correct. 428i. Um, I counted 12 dents outside. And I will show you guys how much this costs, what I did, why I did it, full repair. Let's see if my initial assessment was correct. Cut them together. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I counted twelve outside. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen dents. I counted twelve, there's seventeen. So, as a business owner, what do you do in this situation, right? Your initial assessment was 12. There's actually 17. Do I call the customer and explain the additional damage? There's gonna be an additional charge for five more dents. It's an option. There's the technician in me and then there's the business owner in me. And you get torn between the two. The tech in me, it's fine. You're already in the panel. It's right next to where you're gonna be working. What's the difference? It's okay, it's on you, you got it. The business owner in me is, well, that's more work. It's more time, it's more labor, that costs. I think I'm gonna go with the tech in me and just take care of it for him. That's what I'm gonna do. So yes, I've done my initial assessment, um, but there still were a couple things that I had to be mindful of. And yeah, not only how many dents there are, there's a couple other factors that come into play when you're trying to assess damage quickly or just even as a technician to try to figure out what's gonna be involved, how long is all that gonna take. One of the things I'm looking out for are, are these dents in a brace? If these dents are in a brace, that's just gonna add to the difficulty as well as are they in any sort of sound deadener? So there was sound deadener. When it comes to the rods, the reason why we have so many is so we can get around every nook and cranny of the vehicle. And in this particular case for this car, the dents were open. There were two obstructions in this vehicle, sound deadening and bracing. Now, what that means is that there is something obstructing my tool directly going behind that panel and pushing it from the inside out. So instead of me directly coming down the door and being able to push right in a nice open access area, what I have to do in an open access area with a, a metal plate behind it is actually swoop under that bracing and push. Like I said, some of these dents were in open access. Some had, were in an actual sound dender. So not only did I have to deal with bracing and an obstruction and not be able to directly go to the damage, I had to go under something. Yes, the dents were small and a lot, um, but the, there was no way to gauge instantly off an initial assessment what was gonna be involved with this. Gave it some wax, some polish, and she's gonna be good to go. We'll go over pricing in a bit.